This is a wig. If you guys are interested in it, the link is down below. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I wanted to play around with a new package that I received from ColourPop. I have now just been added to the ColourPop PR list, which I'm so excited about. They just sent over a couple of products. They sent me a foundation stick and a concealer, but both of those were not my shade, so it was just didn't work out but I do have the so jaded eyeshadow palette from Kathleen lights and I'm really excited to play around with this eyeshadow palette because I'm just really grateful that Kathleen lights noticed my videos and she did give me a shout out on her follow Friday uh, things that she does on her channel maybe many of you guys discovered me through that shout out so um, I'm really excited to play around with her eyeshadow palette with color pop when this eyeshadow palette came out there were so many other launches per usual like it's totally typical in the beauty community to have so many launches all at once um, but I was just not able to get my hands on this eyeshadow palette but I'm really happy that it's here now because this eyeshadow palette just really is just so beautiful it does have some glitters which I'm not going to be playing around with I'm going to be showing you guys how I achieved this eyeshadow look using this palette here this is the eyeshadow that I really wanted to use for this look but it's like a super shock formula. I've never tried super shock shadows and when I applied my concealer and tried applying this on top of it, it just was not working out. This is like an eyeshadow that I would use with my finger and then just apply it onto my eyelid. So I'll definitely be doing two looks using this eyeshadow palette here. That's if you guys want to see that. If not, I'll just do like a very dedicated video for another eye look. So just let me know what you guys would like to see. I also just wanted to play with this color which is kind of what inspired me to create this look here. I hope you guys like it. If you guys want to see how I came about this look, then just keep watching. No, I'd rather be waking up with you Instead of alone in your room Slept with the light on waiting up for you Don't, I don't want to be the first color I'm going to be using is this one here called the Moonstone and I'm going to be using this just to highlight underneath the eyebrow. Goodness. Oh my god, this has really pretty different like reflex to it. It kind of has like bluish reflex. This is pretty. That is really buttery. So I'm just placing it right there, right underneath the brow bone, just like that. Now I'm going to be dipping into the color Citrine, which is this mustard yellow. And I'm going to be placing this all over my crease area. And just taking it kind of up as my transition color and making sure it's blended into that brown color that we placed in there. Okay, that's blending really nice. Now if I kind of churn, you can see that it's not that blended right here, so I'm going to go back in here. You got to get the different angles, you know, making sure everything is nicely blended. Okay, now I'm going to start to warm up the crease using the color Jade. I'm going to lift up my eyebrows and just start to place this color. And this is a pretty fluffy brush because uh, I don't want to deposit this color as like really intense like a really intense color because I'm still going to darken up the crease a lot more. I just want it to be very soft and a very soft blend into the other one. Okay, I feel like it's getting kind of patchy so I'm going to move on to a more condensed brush. So I'm just going to start to work it into the crease again. It's still kind of looking patchy. I'm going to go back in with that previous brush. It's just like looking patchy on this eye area, but I'm going to be taking it off anyway. Uh, it's blending really nice with the other one. I mean, you guys can see here on camera. I'm just kind of taking it slightly out this way. That's a pretty nice blend. What do you guys think? Going in with that yellow once again and just kind of 
blending this. All right, and now I'm gonna be deepening up the crease area using this color stone. And this is a brown that kind of has like a green tone to it, foresty brown. <laughs> like gray green so yeah I'm just placing it into the crease just to deepen it up more going in with that previous brush I'm just kind of start to blend everything and as always I'm gonna be linking this brush down below in my description box okay so that is my guide I always just create the guide with that brush and then I go in with a flat brush and just like fill in underneath. And I've gotten a few questions regarding the way that I apply my eyeshadow. Like why do I apply the deepest shade in the crease when I'm just gonna cover it up with concealer? And the reason that I do apply a deeper color at the crease is because it gives me that definition in that crease area. It just, you can see that darkness around there and I just really like to make whatever eyeshadow on my eyelid just pop. And by adding that dark color at the crease, it does that for me. And as you guys can see, that darkest shade, you can, you can still see it here and you can see it in here, right? I hope you can. I have never tried a super shock shadow, but from what I've seen on um, Kathleen Lights' video, this is the super shock formula, so I'm really excited to try it. I like You push in there and it feels really buttery, so that's why I have that little dent in there. I have never tried it, so let's, let's play around with it. I'm gonna just start to apply it, probably using that wrong brush. I'm just gonna apply it Oh my god, it's really buttery. Maybe I should just try applying it with my finger first. I think this is just an eyeshadow that you put on its own because this formula. I probably should not be playing with that color because it's like kind of difficult to place on my eyelid with that concealer on. So I'm probably going to just pick up a different shade. Um, the shade that I'm going to use is this one here because it's just like really calling my name. It's called Period. Oh, Peridot. Never mind. <laughs> I thought it said Period. Oh, there we go. See? So this shimmer is buttery, but it's not like the other one buttery. Like, this is applied really easily. This color is really beautiful. I'm still left tempted to play it with one more color. So let's try another one out. The one that I really want to try out is called Emerald. And I'm going to use the same exact brush, but just, you know, go into this one. We're going to be blending it into the other one anyway. And I'm going to be placing this right at this outer edge here and slowly work my way in. Sorry, you guys, this fucking camera's not focusing. Okay, so now that we've done that, I'm going to just go back into the color stone, which is that, uh, dark brown color, dark green brown, I don't know, this one right here. And I'm just gonna work on these outer edges. So I'm really glad that I did my eye makeup first because this color right here is giving me quite a bit of kickback, but I just watched Jeffree Star's video that went up today and Ma -ma 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 Mitchell was saying that you gotta just take it slow. I'm just not very patient, so I just go kind of heavy-handed with my blending, but maybe I should be a little bit more patient. I'm sorry, I'm out of focus, you guys. Oh, this fucking camera is driving me crazy. Now I'm pretty much done with the top portion of my eye makeup. Now I'm gonna clean up this under eye area. I'm applying some sleek makeup eyeliner down here. And this one is in the shade Zodiac Black. I think this one's $7.99 on Ulta's website, I think. And I'm going to grab a small pencil brush like this one here, and I'm going to go into the color Jade. With the color Jade, I'm going to be applying it right into this inner part and kind of smoke out the liner at my waterline. And then going into that brown... That oh, Fuck, I'm getting so much cake back with that. Uh, the color stoned and I'm gonna just go right in this outer edge just to kind of make it go in oh, It's getting patchy you guys oh. 
Maybe I just went a little. Okay. All right, so I'm pretty much done with this look right now. All I have to do now is apply some mascara, some lashes, the rest of my face, and then I'll be right back with you guys to show you guys the finished look. And that wraps it up for this video. I wanted just to get my first impressions of this eyeshadow palette before I start to criticize it any more than I did in this video. I did have a little bit of issues with some of these shades, this one and this one in particular. This one had a lot of kickback, a lot of fallout, and I'm not sure if it was just the base that I'm using for my eyeshadows. I always use a concealer, and I know it's not the best thing to use for in like an eyeshadow primer, but it always works for me, and maybe it just didn't work with the formula of the, these two eyeshadows. I love how buttery the shimmers are, and this one is just really, really pretty. I'm really excited to play with it. It's very, like, I've never tried a super sharp shadow, so I'm just, I'm really excited to continue to play around with this eyeshadow palette. The glitters are really pretty. I'm also going to do a look using these glitters here. But I don't have a glitter glue which I have to get my hands on before I do play around with these because I just have been having difficult time. Even with my Tati eyeshadow palette, the glitter's just not sticking very well. So I'm trying to find a glitter glue. If you guys have any suggestions, please leave them down below in my description box. In my comments, not my description box. But there's just so many things that you guys can do with this eyeshadow palette right here. All, all of these neutral shades like these right over here you can do a lot of neutral looks you can also do like a lot of warm tone looks and I don't know if I'm just gonna continue to play around with some of the darker shades like this one this one and this one maybe I don't know I guess we'll have to continue to play around with this palette before I can criticize it any further but hopefully you guys did enjoy this video if you did be sure to give my video a thumbs up subscribe down below if you haven't done so already and also turn on post notifications so you don't miss out on any of my future uploads. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. And hopefully I see you guys in my next video. Bye.